Identity theft. Now at six, a local family says it's been violated through online stalking. Hi, I'm Mark Mellinger. Heather is off tonight. This afternoon, a man in Wabash was in court charged with stalking and harassing women online. News Channel 15's Drew Blair has been working to find out what can be done to prevent crimes like these. And she joins us now with this 15 Finds Out report. 23 year old Ryan Brown was originally charged with two counts of harassment and two counts of stalking, but a judge today dropped the felony stalking charges. Brown's victims say they are outraged by the lack of accountability. We found out right now there are no laws on the books to prevent what happened to this local family. With the click of a button, he's put them out there to every sicko. Last March, Cindy Flanagan says her daughter's identities were disgraced through the social networking site Facebook. Its abuse, they say, was overlooked for two years. Flanagan's daughter, 28-year-old Emily Jones, says her church pastor alerted her to a Facebook profile built under her name. I was completely sick. My stomach um, got tight. I had trouble breathing. Soon after, Emily discovered her little sister was also a victim. Vulgar, nasty, sick, smug. The family says a worker at their church created both profiles. They say the man posed as these girls engaging in online sexual encounters. He got pictures of me from our school roster, my cheerleading picture. He got pictures from the church directory. Police charged 23-year-old Ryan Brown with two misdemeanor counts of harassment and two felony stalking charges. Brown pled guilty and a judge dropped the felony charges. That means Brown faces at most 180 days of jail time. But the Flanagan family says that punishment isn't enough. Our goal is to get laws. The family is working with local and state officials to update current laws involving internet activity. Officials working closely with the Flanagan say it was difficult to determine what charges should even be filed in this case. Our laws were written before the internet was in and even the laws we've made during the 90s and early 2000s have not kept up with what's happening in the electronic world. Unless there's laws, there's really no way to protect your child. State Representative Bill Rupel says he's confident laws can be passed this year. Stalking, it's harassment, ID theft, child, and sexual predator laws all need to be changed to adopt this. Emily and Haley say they are working to prevent other people from going through the pain they've experienced. Humiliating beyond words, you just feel like it, you're just helpless and completely humiliated. I just feel very violated and every time I go somewhere I wonder what has he read about me on the internet, what has he seen, why is he looking at me like that. Brown's sentencing is postponed until September 17th. The Wabash County judge is ordering a pre-sentencing investigation by the probation office. In the courtroom, the judge said he just wants more information on this case before making a sentencing decision. And it'll be interesting to follow this through the General Assembly to see if some legislation is indeed passed. As it a sure will, and this could actually make ground for the rest of the country, too, by through an in, in Indiana law. Okay, interesting. Drew Blair, thank you.